Wolf, and I'm a microbiologist based in San Francisco. And um, the book that I wrote that's been uh, nominated for the Royal Society Winton Prize is The Viral Storm. And it was a book that I wrote um, really about sort of the nature of pandemics, the sort of natural history. Why do we have pandemics? What's the sort of history of the pandemics that we've experienced as a species? Uh, but also, what's the nature of how humans are changing and how we've changed over the last couple of thousand years? And how does this influence the susceptibility that we have to these pandemics? Hi everyone and welcome for our class for today. I hope all of you are doing well. Today our topic is very interesting. Bring your book and let's go. Okay, open your book uh, on page 82, please. Page 82. Good. Uh, okay, I want for me to look at the title and try to read it. Okay, so you will find the title is Disease Hunter. Disease Hunter. Okay, um, so from the title you will find that it, it will talk about um, someone who look for diseases and uh, fight them. So, uh, as you know, disease means marad, okay? Hunt means yasid. Hunter, sayad. We can say he is a hunter of diseases or a researcher of diseases. So, I want for me to look at the picture, please. Uh, tell me, um, who is this guy and what does he do? Okay, so you will find he's a uh, Nathan Wolf. So his name is Nathan Wolf, and he's a National Geographic Explorer. A National Geographic Explorer. Great. So look at um, look at his picture again, please. And if you notice, you will find that he's the same person that you will uh, saw in the first video. Okay. So he's a National Geographic explorer who must actually be National Geographic. Okay, what does he do or what does he study? Okay, so if you read the description, you will find that he's an expert on diseases. Okay, expert بمعنى خبير في الأمراض. He studies how diseases spread and he wants to find a way to stop pandemics before they happen. So his job is to find okay so first she studies the diseases who are the amrad uh انتشار الامراض disease spread and he wants to find a way to stop pandemics before they happen so he tries to find a way هو عم بيحاول يلاقي طريقه to stop pandemics حتى يوقف الاوبئه before they happen يعني قبل ما هي تنتشر okay so this is what he try to do Okay, guys, here you will find the most important vocabs that we will learn today. You can write them on your notebook or you can take a screenshot for them, okay? So, the first word, disease. Disease, manad, and it's noun. Um, we have also illness. Illness, bardo the same meaning, bimana marad. Uh, expert, expert bimana khabir, okay? Spread, spread uh, bimana yantashir, and it's a verb. Pandemic, wabai. Okay, hunter, hunter sayyad, هلا عنا hunt, hunt بمعنى يصيد, وهي verb. Hunter, إذا ضفنا ال er, بتصير noun, بتصير بمعنى صياد, okay. هون كمان ممكن تيجي بمعنى باحث, إنه هو يبحث عن, to look for something, okay. Prevent, prevent بمعنى يمنع, and it's noun, sorry, it's verb. Research بمعنى باحث, okay. Okay, guys, uh, now we will listen to the audio for exercise A, okay, 2 slash 13. We will listen, uh, and before we listen, I want for me to read the sentences. We have here four sentences. Uh, we will read them and then listen. Uh, after that, you will circle on true or false, okay? okay? So the first sentence is, a pandemic is a disease that spreads quickly to many people. Two, international travel helps to prevent pandemics. Three, Wolf does his research mainly in Europe. Four, many diseases start in animals and move into humans. Okay, now let's listen to the audio, please. A scientist studying pandemics. 
Pandemics are diseases that spread quickly and make many people sick. In today's world, pandemics can be dangerous. It is easy for people to travel to different places, so diseases can spread in a very short time. Wolf says that scientists today usually take action after a disease spreads. He thinks we need better ways of dealing with diseases. He spent more than eight years researching diseases in parts of Africa and Southeast Asia. This is because in these places there are people who live near or work with animals. Pandemics usually happen because the bacteria and viruses in animals move into humans. By studying these diseases, Wolf wants to predict and stop pandemics before they happen. Okay, now please try to answer the sentences. Okay, you can listen to the audio one more time. Uh, then you will find the answers, the answers like this. The first sentence, a pandemic is a disease that spreads quickly to many people. So what do you think, true or false? Yeah, sure, it's true because a pandemic is about a disease that spreads quickly to So it's true. Two, international travel helps to prevent pandemics. True or false? International travel helps to help helps to يساعد على منع الأوبئة. Exactly, it's uh, of course not. So it's false. Three, Wolf does his research mainly in Europe. هل عمل أبحاثه بشكل رئيسي أو بشكل أساسي في أوروبا؟ أكيد no. So he mentioned that in Africa and some parts in Asia, right? For many diseases start in animals and move into humans. Yeah, أكيد إن الأمراض بتبلش من الحيوانات أن وتنتقل إلى الإنسان. So it's true. Okay, guys, now you are going to listen to a lecture about what a pandemic is and how to stay healthy. Okay, so uh, in exercise B, you should put a check on the advice that you hear. So the first one: stay healthy, wear a mask. Go to hospital, keep some money at home, stay home and rest, have a list of emergency numbers. Okay, so you will listen to the audio and but check on the thing or advice that you will hear. Okay, are you ready? So let's go. People often get a cold or the flu, but a flu pandemic is different. A flu pandemic can be dangerous, so we should all be well prepared for it. One of the best ways to keep ourselves from falling sick is to stay healthy. Eat healthy food, exercise often, and get enough rest. Stay at home and rest when you're sick so that you don't spread the virus. Cover your nose and mouth when you cough or sneeze or wear a mask. But you should also wash your hands with soap often. Research shows that you can reduce your chance of getting the flu by 70% when you wear a mask and wash your hands often. It's also useful to prepare an emergency box at home. You should use it to store things such as food, water, medicine, and money. Sometimes during a pandemic, you need to stay at home for some time. Unit 8. So please um, put a check on the advices that you hear. طبعاً عنا نصائح فحطوا نص check على النصائح اللي سمعتوها. And you can uh, listen to it one more time if you want. Okay? Okay, so if you listen uh, to the audio carefully, you will find the answer like this. Okay? So to prevent any pandemic, حتى إحنا نمنع أي أي وباء لازم نتبع هاي النصائح. So we should stay healthy. We should also wear a mask, and we should keep some money at home. And the last one, yeah, stay at home and rest. Exactly. So these are the advices. 
Okay, guys. So we we learn about a diseases a disease hunter, a uh, National Geographic explorer. He's expert a disease expert. Okay, um, and he's called Nathan Wolf. Um, also we learned that he is trying to create an early warning system so we can predict and control new disease before they become widespread. Okay. Uh, he believes the system will save lives and is essential for fighting disease. So his aim or his goal هدفه هو إنه يعمل warning system زي زي نظام تحذير. So we can predict and control the new disease. إنه ممكن إحنا نتنبأ بالأمراض والأوبية قبل ما هي تنتشر. So that's the main goal for this person. Okay. And now I wanna ask you this question. Uh, do you worry about disease? Do you worry about disease? هل إنه بتشعر بالقلق about disease? Uh, and what disease have you read or hear read or heard about in the news? شو الأمراض اللي بتسمعوها أو حاليا especially on this moment? So I want from you to think of this question, please. Okay, even if we are worried about disease, um, we should look at the positive things. Even we are, uh, if we are in quarantine time uh, because of coronavirus, we should look on the positive side, right? So I like this quote and I want to share it with you. So not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. Not all storms, يعني مو كل العواصف أو المشاكل or ممكن تكون أمراض أو بيئة اللي هي pandemic disease or anything so not all storms come to disrupt your life مو كلها بدي إنها سبب في إنها disrupt إنها تخرب الحياة أو damage our life so some come to clear your path ممكن بعضها إنه سبب في إنه يمهدين الطريق وننظر للأشياء الإيجابية so that's it okay now let's move to page 83 uh, to the pronunciation section, okay, so we will listen to and learn the pronunciation of a modal verb, okay, should, could, and would. So uh, we will listen to the audio and then repeat after that, okay, but before that, I will, I want to show you something. Okay, here you can say the modal verbs and the use of them, okay, so the first one can, uh, we can use it for ability, offer, permission, possibility, request. For example, ability, uh, we can say, I can swim. Offer, uh, can I help you? Okay. Also could, uh, for ability, offer, possibility, request, suggestion. Uh, may, we have also might, shall, should, will, would, must, ought to. طبعاً لكل واحدة في إلها استخدامة. Okay. Um, so you can take a book for them. طبعا بعدهم لازم يجي infinitive verb one okay. بالنسبة لكود we use it in the past tense هي ممكن نعتبرها past tense of can and we can also use it to make a request polite request such as could you help me? Okay could I borrow a pencil? So we can use it for a request. Okay, now let's listen to the audio and practice the pronunciation together for should, could, and would. So listen and repeat, please. Should. Shouldn't. Two. Could. Couldn't. Three. Would. Wouldn't. Okay, now let's move to exercise B. Now you will listen to the audio and then you will write the word that you hear, okay? So, for example, the first sentence, if Danny has a backache, إذا كان عنده ألم في الظهر, he blank breast. So, what do you think the answer is? Should, could, or would? طبعاً, حسب الجملة هي عبارة عن situation, لازم نعطي advice. So, ما إنه في لازم نعطي نصيحة, فأكيد الجواب رح يكون should. He should rest, okay? So let's answer the following sentences depending on the audio, okay? If Danny has a backache, he should rest. 
too. The music was too loud. I couldn't hear what she was saying. Three. It's raining. They shouldn't play soccer outdoors. Four. Would you like some orange juice? So if you listen it carefully, you will find the answer like this. The music was too loud. I couldn't hear what she was saying. صوت الموسيقى كان مرتفع جدا فلم أستطع سماع ماذا قالت. Okay. The third sentence, it's raining. They shouldn't play soccer outdoor. Uh, عبط مطر. So they shouldn't. لا يمكنهم اللعب كرة القدم في الخارج. And the fourth one, would you like some orange juice? هل ترغب في بعض عصير البرتقال? Here we use wood as an offer لتقديم عرض أو خدمة هل ترغب طبعا هي بطريقة كمان politely so ممكن نستخدم wood could it will be the same okay okay so let's move to this part do you know do you know بمعنى هل تعلم so um, you should cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze the air from your sneeze can travel about First, 10, second, 30 or 60 km in hour. What do you think the answer will be? Okay, hala, you should cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze. لازم تغطي أنفك وتمك لما تعطس. The air from your sneeze can travel. لأنه الهواء من العطس بنتقل ل 10 or 30 or 60 km in hour. What do you think? Okay, so the answer is C. Okay, 60 km in an hour. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, guys, for the communication part, I want from you to do a survey, okay, as a homework. And you can send it to me on our WhatsApp group, okay? So, um, your job is to ask your friends or you can ask your family member, okay? So, you have here a table and the first column you have a healthy habit and عادات صحية. Uh, from 1 to 10, uh, sorry, from 1 to 80, okay? So the first one, I ate breakfast every day. So c you can ask yourself first, and then you will put a check if you do it, uh, it, okay? So for example, I eat breakfast every day. If you eat breakfast every day, you can check on me here, okay? On me. Uh, and you can ask your family members, you can ask your family members, as you like. So you can ask them like this is a question, okay? Do you eat breakfast with do? Okay, yes or no question. Do you, do you eat breakfast every day? If he say yes, so the answer yes, you can put a check, okay? For example, do you eat breakfast every day? Hal to tnawal futur kul yom? Ida kan yes, I do. So you will write her name or his name hon. Rah tuktub ismu hon. But then you will put a check. Tuktub tiamal sah hala it. The first point, okay? If the answer no, if the can job or no, so so you will give him advice. رح تعطينا صيحة. For example, you should have breakfast every day. It's a good way to start the day, okay? No, لازم نعمل فطور because it's more healthy and like this, okay? And for the second one, I always wash my hands before I eat. دائما أنا uh, إذا كنت بتغسل إيدك قبل الطعام فحط check on me. And you can ask. Uh, also another person you will ask your sister or your brother or your mother for example do you wash your hands before you eat so you will use do okay do you wash your hand before you eat so if she or he says yes so you will um, make uh, you will put a check on the column okay if he says no, so you will give him advice. Okay, guys, that's all for today. But before we leave, I have a riddle for you. And the الكم بتي منكم تفكروا فيها وجاوبوني عليها. Okay. So the riddle is which is faster, hot or cold? Which is faster, hot or cold? If you know the answer, you can send it to me on the WhatsApp group. Okay. If you couldn't know the answer, I will give you the answer. 
um, in the next video. Thank you guys, thanks for watching, um, and see you inshallah in the next video. Stay at home, stay safe, and stay healthy.